Good day, ladies and gents. Today is a massive patch. Today is. Today, a massive patch is happening. BG are releasing a patch uh, 0 0.15.5.0. The only thing I have to say, yes, so far, it's a bit weird that I thought we were getting a Unity update with this patch. But uh, based on the patch note, it seems like we aren't. Either way, let's go through the patch notes. I will tell you all the interesting facts about this patch. And the downtime is eight hours, which is uh, quite long. So yeah. Well, first of all, um, boo, boo, boo. Uh, you should be able more or less to see the text. As a part of this update, all PV zone rates will be temporarily using the game service instead. We've adjusted the number of servers for PV mode for the most optimal matchmaking time. So PV servers were run locally on your PCs before, but right now uh, you'll be connecting to servers. I think it's primarily to do with the fact that if your PC is uh, hosting the server, your FPS is drastically less compared to you playing on BG servers. And that's really uncomfortable for a lot of players. So right now I hope matchmaking time is not gonna be too bad. But yeah, no more instant matchmaking in PVE. All right, list of changes. Inventory interaction matching. BG finally added partial player interaction with the stash profile and the flea market uh, in the initial phase of matching. Functionality is limited to the period of searching for a server. So while you search for the server, you can do this. Move and sort items in your stash. It offers for the sale on the flea market. View available information on the character menu tab, such as tasks, for example. Added the ability to view the equipment and health status of players in the group while matching. This feature applies to scavs as well. All right, that's cool. A lot of people were asking for that. Finally, we can do something while matching. This is amazing. Top tier change. Achievement rewards. Certain achievements will now have rewards. These rewards will not disappear with global or personal wipes. Items received for achievements are sent through in-game message with unlimited storage time. Players who earn multiple achievements in the Tarkov Mystery event will receive rewards for each achievement. Uh, this is from a while ago. You can view achievement rewards by hovering over achievement icon in the character's screen. Achievements involved in peace. Local strongman uh, Cardinal Richalo were available in the Tarkov Mystery event and reward Mr. Kerman's cat hologram. This is the hologram you get with a cat and a lot of people were asking when you get it. So right now you can finally get it after the wipe. Achievement for Master of Ultra. Master of Ultra is um, 100 killer kills on interchange. So the reward is uh, Adidas tracksuit upper clothing. And previously, Eddie Shrixit was awarded for completing the Stylish One. That was 50 kills. Task of the Stylish One has been removed. It doesn't exist. And players who manage to complete the task do not lose the reward until the end of the current wipe. Eddie Shrixit upper clothing is no longer requires Ragma level 3, level 48 character. Uh, and a completed Stylish task to obtain it. Hmm... I guess this means that as soon as you do the stylish one, you can buy the tracksuit. So even if you're a level one character, you can have it, I assume. Uh, but yeah, right now, uh, getting killer tracksuit is back to 100 kills, but it stays with you permanent. Pinning items in a stash. Pin feature. Pin items don't get auto sorted, but you can move them manually. Also, you can pin an item in the following ways. Through the right-click context menu, through the pinning mode, which is activated by clicking the icon in the stash with the P hotkey, which can be changed in the settings. The pin status is lost when you move an item into inventory or start a raid. Um, I guess this means the... This is weird. Um, the pin feature is lost when you start a raid. I guess that's if the item is on you. Because it would be it would be really weird. Like based on this grammar, the pin status is lost every single time you start the raid, which doesn't which doesn't make sense. So I assume it's for the items which are on you. Either way, log feature: locked items uh, cannot be deleted, sold, moved, or used except for opening containers. Locking prevents items from being used in crafting, upgrades, selling, bartering, or being used in weapon builds. You can lock an item in the following ways: lock through the right context menu and through the locking mode by clicking the L hotkey. Container interaction. Pinned or locked items can be stored inside containers and their status is retained when the container is moved. If a locked item is inside the container, it can be deleted or moved from the stash uh, to the inventory. Okay, makes sense. 
weather seasons. The in-game session season has been switched to fall. The late fall calendar season will be enabled at a later date. Okay. Map to map travel, adjusted the transition zones on certain locations. Now, after loading to the next locations, a uh, location player will appear as close as possible to the corresponding transition zone. Weapons. Added MPS Auto Assault 12 Gen 1 and Gen 2 automatic shotguns. I actually have no idea what this is and how it looks like. Let's do a quick search. It's, uh, oh, it's just AA12, my bad. I uh, wasn't sure. Uh, okay, this is really interesting. Because this shotgun is supposed to be a full auto, automatic shotgun, and uh, I'm excited to play with it. I hope the recoil is not too bad. This is gonna be fun. This is like full auto Saiga, right? Same caliber, same shells. Gonna be fun. Added new mounts to allow installation of biopods on the weapons. Uh, Mac for log, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Added new attachments for SCAR, G36, and AUG assault rifles. This is it for the weapons so far. List of fixes. Fix the visual display artifacts of water in the factory cellar when using the LSS. Fix the weight display of the weapon build screen when switching from the flea market. Fix the soft lock when two players interact with a weapon in the container at the same time. Fix the number of geometry and textures issues on locations. Fix the inability to use items from containers when using weapon builds. Fix the inability of the killer's name on the player's doctor if the player was killed by a single shot. Oh yeah, I think it was a bug. Like if you were to one tap someone in the head, it would just say died on their plate, uh, on their uh, dog tag, or if you nade them. A lot of people I killed recently in the game, obviously, um, had a dog tag with just died on it without my name. I think th that's getting fixed. Fix the incorrect calculation of player's weight when equipping and then search backpack. Yeah, that was actually quite funny because like if you were having a heavy backpack and uh, you would swap the backpacks with your teammates and you wouldn't search each other, each other, each other backpacks, uh, you would be weightless. Um, so yeah, this bug is getting fixed. Fix the player's calves appearing in random locations for a short time before spawning. Okay. Uh, fix the AI aggression towards a player sitting inside the BTR. This is actually interesting because um, I don't think this is, was the main issue, but be, well, yes and no. Um, like whenever you sit in the BTR, the main problem is that you are protected from all the sides, right? But whenever scavs target you, even though you're in BTR, they shoot through BTR, they hit you. However, the game doesn't give you damage, but it breaks your armor. So when you're sitting inside the BTR and you're getting shot either by the sniper scav or by random scavs, you will remain full HP, but whenever you leave BTR, your helmet, your armor, everything will just be zeroed out. <laughs> so yeah, that was quite funny. Um, yeah, I think that's it about the patch notes. Hopefully we're also getting a Halloween event today. Closer to the night, we're also getting a Tarkov podcast which I will make a YouTube video on as well. So if you want to follow that, if you want to see what Halloween event is, as soon as it's out, I'll make a YouTube video. I will also make a YouTube video summarizing the podcast with Nikita. Make sure you sub to the channel. Yo, don't sub to the channel. Click on the notifications. Don't miss the new videos. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give, the, uh, 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 give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, ladies and gents.